Hi, my name is Desmond Du, and today we're going to learn how to select an image from a pre-composition using a text layer. So, let's begin. First of all, let's import our assets. Command I, and then we can select uh, this emojis and prepare. No surprise there. So, I have five different types of emojis, and I select all of them. Command A, and hit return. I'm going to create a new composition with this uh, with these five images. Say a single composition, one frame, and sequence layer. So this is basically an extension of the tutorial I made previously on spriting different types of emoji, but this time we're going to use a text layer uh, to search for a specific emoji. Uh, we're going to use the text layer to search uh, the right emoji based on the layer's name. So, uh, so we have five emoji right here, and let's Let's continue by renaming this composition to lib, or uh, basically it's our, our image library. Okay, hit command and to create a new composition, we're going to create uh, do full HD and click OK. And then uh, let's go back. And one of the important things when doing this, uh, using this uh, technique is that make sure the frame rate must be the same as your, your main comp. If not, it might break. Okay, so let's bring in that library precom over here, scale it up. And then now I am going to create a text layer, command T, and click on the top. I'm not going to type it, anything into it yet, but I am going to rename my text layer. I'm going to rename it to emoji underscore name. All right. So if we scrub through this, uh, this composition, you know, we're giving, getting each emoji at each frame. To just select one specific emoji, we need to use uh, write an expression into into uh, time remapping. So in the lib precom, uh, hit command option T, and then hold option and click on the stopwatch. We're gonna create two variables. Uh, so first, the first variable is our text. So text is our source text, which we're gonna search from. So hit W on the text layer, and we can get the source text property shown. So text is equal to this source text semicolon, and we need to reference our, our sprite library. So we call it com. So com is equal to com bracket lib and semicolon. We're gonna write a for loop statement. So basically, uh, After Effects is gonna do this series of action for a certain amount of time that we specified. So it goes like this, for bracket i is equal to zero, semicolon, i is less than com number of layers, num layers, semicolon i plus plus. Oops, caps lock is on. So it's gonna start at number zero and it's gonna uh, run through for however number of frames, we, number of layers we have in our pre-comp, which is five, and it'll just keep increasing the i number to it, it's completed. And then uh, curly bracket to begin our statement. And we're going to write an if statement. If bracket, if com dot layer i dot name dot to lowercase. Uh, we, we, have to, we, we want the name of the layer that we're referencing to be lowercase. So in case we type anything wrong or typo, we can still find the image. So dot match, and then we're going to type txt, which is our variable, which is our source text. Uh, so basically this is our search engine. And, and then, so if this is true, so after effects is going to do this, so curly bracket, we're going to type uh, i semicolon break, and then semicolon, and then let's write an else statement. If, if this doesn't happen, so it's going to give us 100 semicolon and we're going to click outside and it's not working because uh, right now layers begin at one even though a composition begins at zero but layer numbers begin always begins at one right so in this car in this uh, this expression we need to write in uh, for the layer number we need to add a uh, value of one so i plus one and now you know so let's search pool and again, it's not giving us the, the, uh, the correct uh, image because right now it's actually referenced. This I is actually, even though it, it's frame, it's correct frame number to us, 
but after effects time remapping except time code only so we need to convert this uh to to for time remapping by using frames to time type in i and let's get rid of that i and let's click outside and there you have it we have a clue let's try another one let's call it face alien and ghost and notice i don't even need to finish typing anything if i can type if i type gh i get a ghost al so it's basically just gonna match whatever you type in uh, and that's how you reference uh, an image uh, using a text layer. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.